Hello and welcome to another Creativeverse video. Today we're going to get started on the gazebo build. Uh, we just finished the mushroom house in the last series and now we're going to get started on this guy. Uh, it's not a very, it's not a terribly big one. It's going to be situated here. I hope that the entrance to it isn't uh, snug up against this little berm here, but we'll just see how it turns out. I think I positioned it right. Uh, we're just going to take, I think, all of the parts, well, most of the parts. One, two, three. What else do we want to hold down there? Well, okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll take all of those parts and we'll just just get going here. Uh, one thing that I noticed that was interesting in the cornerstone, it says I've placed one wood floor, but I haven't. Uh, I wonder if the cornerstone counts as that wood floor. And maybe that's what's going on there. Um, wow, there's a lot of stairs. I guess this must be the entrance to the thing. Oops, whoops, whoops. There we go. Yeah, I think it's counting this as one wood floor. I wonder if uh, the, uh, excuse me, the cornerstone is kind of a wild card. And so it can count as, oh darn it, count as pretty much anything. that right okay good um i wonder if this is gonna kick out like it did over there yeah here we go so i didn't want to just go off and running with these stone block floors all right okay cool uh yeah this isn't going to be a terribly big build it'd probably just be a part or two whoops i want to go down there um but I thought it was a cool looking little thing. Let's have a look at the picture of picture of it, excuse me. I pressed the wrong button. The gazebo is where here it is. So that's what it looks like from the front, I guess, from the steps that we were that we we're just placing. Uh, let's see if we can get a different angle on it. There we go. It almost looks like it has a chimney. I'm not sure that's intentional. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's got a little chimney there. Um a chimney like protrusion up on top I guess okay um, we should probably go place some more stairs I don't want to get carried away like I've already built up three over there up three courses and I'm just uh, gonna get carried away in the build again as I often worry that I'm that I am Uh, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to just get to just build whatever takes my fancy, rather than trying to adhere strictly to the layout of the thing. Wow, these stairways are huge. This is reminding me again of uh, the Robotech with the Zentradi and how they're so much bigger than humans, and so their technology is way outsized for us, for us, for humans. I mean, I know I'm a human, but it's like, I was just thinking that world, that universe is fictional. No. Uh-oh, that poor little crab is going to be stuck down there forever. Oh, well, that's what you get for a little, there, for wandering around in my job site there, a little crab. You don't wander around in construction sites and not expect to get encased, entombed in stone and wood. Just wandering over to the wall there. Oh, look at that. He can just hop right up there. Uh, good for him. That guy, I don't know if he's going to be so lucky since I'm busily building out this floor here. He's going to have to come wandering this way in order to hop up the wall like his buddy did. Oh, I've got some bricks I need to place down there. Ugh. Oh, and inside here, what's that about? Huh, that's odd. Let's go grab some more stone floors. Grab the rest of them. No, what was that for? Don't do that. Not there, okay. So, all right, I guess we're doing fine here. Why are there two bricks there and not over none over here? I don't understand what's going on there. That's 
that's very strange to me. Looks like we're almost done with the foundation already. No, what are you doing? This is coming along very quickly. Except for I keep placing blocks in the wrong place. That's not helping matters at all. Oh my goodness. Come on, little crabby, hop up out of there. There you go. Go, you dummy. Don't get back down there. Oh, crabs. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to entomb them, I guess, and then let them despawn. Here, let's see if I can build a floor for him to walk across so he doesn't fall down inside there. No, oh, you dummy. My goodness. We've got four more wood floors to place. There's three of them there. Okay, this one goes here where this cornerstone is, I'll bet ya. So I'm gonna put that up in my inventory. <clears throat> Excuse me, pick up the rest of the red bricks. And then we'll start placing some cragwood and some fencing. Oh, here's where our last four stone go. I didn't even see that I was on, that I was missing four stone. Oh, yeah, the back of this gazebo is gonna be up against the berm here. So, that'll be just fine. That'll, that'll look really nice, I think. I think that'll be good. So many tiny crabs. Where have they all come from? Why are they here? Excuse me for one moment there. I just got distracted. Um, I've got 45 fencing left. I wonder if there's just going to be two rows of it all around and then that'll be all the fences that'd be convenient wouldn't it two rows two courses whatever 22 left yeah I think this is probably all of them my goodness what is that about okay and we'll start placing. We're probably going to have to pile up on one of these cragwood poles. Let's see how that goes. Let's do this. We'll just build upward for a little ways. Let's see if we can get the roof built here. Oh, yeah, this is going to work out pretty well. And then we'll place the the posts that were missing from below, I think that should work just fine. We should be able to reach them just without any problems. I'm kind of placing this a little bit haphazardly. But I think that's okay. Because it's all got to get done at some point. Just want to pull up a few of the leaves here so they're not encroaching on the build. One more stack of wood to place, of crag wood to place. And then that's going to be done. This is coming along so quickly already. There's just so few parts in it. Oh no, oh, I thought it was going to fall. It was, as I said in the last video, it was pointed out to me that I often will worry about falling even though I've got a glider that I can use. Um, if you watch the Mushroom House build, uh, you get to see a comical attempt by me to use my glider to keep from falling. Uh, I ended up colliding with a couple of things and then falling anyway, and even taking damage. It was, it, it was really nice. Very nice for all concerned, except for me. Uh, that didn't make any sense. But whatever, that's fine. Um... What are we doing here? I think we're doing okay. We'll have to place the roof after. I don't want to have to try to have to try to get up here again. After this is all done, I'd like to be. Oh, all right. Let's start placing some redwood walls. 
I'll just start up here at the front. There's just the one layer back here, or up at this, this close. Oh, I used up that stack very quickly. Nice. It's going very smoothly. I'm very pleased. Uh, I wonder if this... Oh, this build doesn't have any lighting on the inside. I know I placed that brick wrong, or that block wrong. This lighting, this build doesn't have any lighting, because if it did, we'd be carrying it, since we took the con the whole, the entire contents of the kit into the quick bar there. So, we might have to put up some torches or lamps or something to light it up inside after this is all done. But that's easy enough to do. I might even have some in my inventory. Uh, of course I do not. That's fine. They're easy enough to build. The gas lamps that I like just take some fossils and uh, something and then something else. What do they take? These guys. Fossils and coal, glass, obsidian rods. That's all very easy parts to, to come by. So that's, well, that won't be a problem. Put up some lighting in here. Oh, I used up that stack again. I just kept trying to place. Lots of redwood walls in here. And then piles of glass on the corners, it looks like. Oh, what are you doing? We should start placing some of these roof pieces as well. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. So let's do that. Let's start going around the edge here. Oops. I left clicked instead of right clicking. I don't know how I can get that wrong after playing this game as much as I have. Seems like that shouldn't be possible. To get confused as to which mouse button to use after having done, I don't know, five or six of these builds and done a lot of playing even before I started recording my blueprint builds. But such is life. Here we are. It has happened. And now it just must be dealt with. Let's do some more red wood. I think we might finish this all in one go. That'd be kind of kind of funny. I missed one underneath there, underneath this glass. What do we have? We have another stack, another full stack of the redwood to place. myself into a corner that I'm going to be able to to get all this stuff after I'm done here. Hmm. My goodness, look at all this. Alright. There. Okay, I need some roof pieces. two more on this side and on this side um okay let's walk down this way all right let's see if we can get all these pieces placed without missing one. Oh no oh all right i'm all right everything's okay nobody panic everything's all right i lived Get inside there. There we go. Boop, boop. Did I 
this one underneath? I think I might have. No. But I am missing some over... Oh no, those are just the glass box that we need over here. Let's just go ahead and place these. Alright, so that takes care of that corner. We have 57 more redwood to place, redwood walls to place is all. This should be, I think it's basically symmetrical all the way around the edge. So it shouldn't be any surprises here as far as where bricks, bricks, I keep calling them bricks, where blocks go. coming together very, very quickly, isn't it? Uh, okay, I thought maybe there was a row underneath there that I wasn't seeing, but there was not. Get that one back there. No. Hang on a second. There we go. There and there. Just want to make sure I don't miss any pieces. Alright, there's all of our redwood walls placed. Let's place some more glass. Glass is really, really difficult for me to see. Um, I don't know. It's just... It's also transparent. I'm really glad for the blue outlines. That's very handy. Ooh, it's getting dark. Where's that keeper? I can hear it. Uh, now I don't see it. All right, that's fine. I think we need glass on the other side now. I think this is the last bit of glass here. What do we need? Five more pieces? Two, three, four, five. All right, cool. Uh, some cragwood and some red roof. What is that called? Red adobe roof, and that's. And then I guess we're done. That's. Yeah, this came together really <laughs> much more quickly than I expected it might. I guess maybe we'll just have this one done all in one go. And then maybe we'll tackle something really ambitious for the next build. Uh, I haven't decided yet. But I'm probably going to need to buy some coins so I can have the kit. I don't want to, if it's a really big build, I don't want to try to gather all the, com all the materials myself. Although, uh, now that I think about it, that might make a not, a not terrible series. Um, if I have to go exploring for parts and maybe wandering down into the corruption layer even, that might be exciting. It might be sort of interesting to watch. Oh, Cragwood. There's a bunch of Cragwood. I was looking for fireworks. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Ow, still. I still fell and hurt myself. I am terrible at using the glider. Okay. There's a column here. What? No. Here, let's do this. Yeah, it's getting dark. I don't have any any torches. Oh, I have these guys. Let's do this. Let's put one here. One here. That'll light it up a little bit. And then how is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's put one on that corner. And one on this corner here. There. That lights it up very nicely indeed. Yeah. Might should hang one from the ceiling there. I don't know. I don't think I can get it dead center. Yeah, because those are four across. So I can't get one dead center there, which would be annoying for me to not have it centered. Oh, good grief.
grief. Oh. Thank goodness for Lumite swords, I guess. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Here comes another one. Drink a potion. That. We covered most of the health that we've lost from the fall and from uh, fighting. We have 11 left. Oh, come on. Put these fences back. Um, I guess I've got... Yeah, I had some cragwood in my inventory, so when I picked up stuff from... Fireworks! Yay! We got fireworks for this one. Marvelous. That was very cool. That came together so fast and so satisfyingly. And I like the lights that I've added. That makes things a lot less scary in here. So, alright. That's the gazebo build. Let's have a look at it here from a distance. Yeah, that looks pretty sharp. And there's a nice wide opening here. It, it doesn't feel too outsized like I thought it would. The stairway was making me think it was going to be way bigger uh, in scale than, you know, relative to our player avatar than, than I, I thought. I lost myself in the middle of that sentence. I thought it was going to look bigger than it does, and it looks really, really nice. I like it a lot. So, uh-oh. Did a crab hear me? No. Okay. So, that's a gazebo build. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.